Hi all, I'm Justin and this is Just a History series. Yes, why Buddha is relevant today? Why Buddha's teachings or how his teachings and ideals are perfect solution to address today's issues? Yes, watch this video till the end, you will get the finest solution. Now here, recently, the 12th General Assembly of this Asian Buddhist Conference for Peace was held in New Delhi. There, the Vice President of India, in his inaugural speech, asked the global youth to get inspired from the teachings of Buddha. His teachings and his ideas are solution to have a very happy, very beautiful, harmonious, sustainable world. Or it is solution to address many issues of today's society. Let's have a look into the teachings and how they are relevant today. Buddha's teachings and how they are relevant today. Let us start with this uh, Four Noble Truths of Buddha. In the casual way, Four Noble Truths, just see, the world is full of sorrows and sufferings and the cause of suffering or the sorrows that is desire in order to, uh, or if you end desire, you will get rid of the sorrows and sufferings and for which you must follow this uh, eightfold path. So this is absolutely true with regard to everyone, be it the richest man or the poorest man. Be it uh, the south or north or the taller or this uh, shorter or anybody, African, American or Asian, anybody. Everyone is having the common, you know, they all have sufferings in this universe. One way or other, they all have different sort of sufferings, different sort of sorrows. And the reason for the sorrows, in the micro level, if you analyze, that is, you know, desires, different degrees of desires. If you end the desires, if you conquer the desires, you will get solution to your sorrows and sufferings. You will seize your sorrows and sufferings if you conquer your desires. For which one should follow eightfold path. One should follow eightfold path. Now here, coming to eightfold path, you see right view, right intention. That is leading to true wisdom. Right view, right intention. Right speech, right action, right livelihood. That is the ethical way of living. Right speech, right action right livelihood then this right effort right mindfulness right concentration that is you know giving you the best uh, mental health or mental discipline okay these are the things these are the eightfold path that is required for living a very ideal life or that is a solution to address many of the things in modern society modern economy okay let's have a look into this right speech Having right speech means you are getting solution to many tensions. Look into the social media. Okay, you have different, different social media platforms. So hate speech is there or maybe what is called a different kind of this, you know, character assassinations and uh, like a verbal abuses. So many things are happening. Even leading to many like what, what is called a different, like, you know, verbal wars and all. Okay, so this right use or right use, right speech, right use of words or wisely usage of words that is a solution to many of the tensions okay and that is you know having i mean the hate speech and all those things be it in the politics or in the like you know uh, like uh, uh, students like uh, college campuses wherever you see use words wisely and that should build this uh, social harmony that should build this you know like a mutual friendship among uh, you know ourselves or uh, others so that right speech is a solution to get, I mean, that is a solution to avoid many of these, you know, tensions which we have or stress we have in today's society. Okay, there is, you know, right effort. That is, whatever the things you do, you must be accountable for that. Okay, whatever the things you do, your action, you know, whatever the things you do or the way you act, you know, you must be accountable for that. Think about it. Think about the consequences, act accordingly. Okay, your accountability, yes, that matters a lot. And also your actions should be in such a way that should address this, you know, or that should be uh, like, you know, fighting the social injustices. Okay, your action matters. Today we have different tensions. We have seen lots of, you know, like uh, inhuman practices, lots of, you know, like uh, social injustices we can see in the society. So the way you act, you know, at the same time you must be accountable for what the action you do. At the same time, yes, your actions must be, you know, that should celebrate, that should, you know, facilitate these uh, social justices to everyone okay so similar way right livelihood your livelihood or maybe the way you live that should not lead to the tensions here you know deforestation or maybe this uh, uh, what is called uh, this uh, burning of the fossil fuels or maybe this uh, greenhouse green greenhouse gas emissions 
or the pollutions or maybe you whatever the things whatever the climatic changes and the related problems which we create today it is because of our actions or maybe it is because of you know that a profit i mean we are people yes we want to uh, earn more profits out of it and uh, we do damage to our environment our society there is deforestation there is pollution related things are there so many things we are doing mncs are there they don't have any accountability or uh, in any environmental ethics nothing you see so that things has to be regulated that things has to be taken care of okay similar way here you could see that impermanence non attachment okay we if we are attached to something too much you know there will be uh, obsession there will be possession possessiveness there will be desire there will be greed so many things are there so please try to understand what buddha taught is everything is transient everything is subject to change everything is impermanent in this world if you understand that way it's a solution to many of your tensions here you are over possessiveness or maybe you are uh, greedy attitude or you are selfishness all those things you will get it off it okay so take care this is again very important you please try to understand yeah non violence again see today we have seen that recently the you know we have seen that institute for this economics and peace annual global peace index report you know says that you know recently there is a huge number of death due to this global global conflicts then we have seen there is russia ukraine war israel palestine war iran pakistan war so it all resulting in this you know lots of death and uh, yes, killing of this you know like a very like a, what is called the innocent people so instead of wars and violence and uh, what we need is you know that is very harmonious peaceful you know yes uh, dialogues conversations which we require in order to maintain that peace and stability of the world okay so this way just try to understand the teachings and this uh, like you know ideals of buddha it's a solution to how a very sustainable very peaceful very harmonious or very balanced you know environment economy and society okay so here this way you can apply more into your answers or into your like you know notes etc how these people and how they are like relevant today even these uh, historical people or these great personalities of the world their teachings are even relevant today okay just go for it this series will continue all the best